Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we're going to check out a set of SD-10 drumstick control clips by Solo Music Company Limited. Okay, so I got these uh, in China at Banggood. And uh, just before shooting this video, I finally figured out how to get them onto a set of 5Bs without making a mess. You got to put them on backwards. So you got to go against the instructions. So uh, anyways, um, they fit extremely loose on 7As. Would not recommend these clips for 7 8 It's just not going to work out. Way too loose. And uh, they may fit on these too. Uh, but anyways, these are Mylar coated, so I'm not too worried. So anyways, um, you guys know I'm a beginner noob drum, drummer, so take it easy on me. I'm kind of, you know, I'm definitely noob stage for a while. Um, but I did reset my kit up for left-handed because I am primarily a lefty guitar player as it is. Though I can play both ways, just far better lefty. But um, <coughs> one of the things is um, I want to learn how to play drums, and I have a lot of reasons behind that. It's in other videos with the drum kit, you'll see. But um, <coughs> one thing I am tired of is sticks flying out of my hands, which got me into these Zildjian sticks because these things are like sick awesome, and they have you know this you know groove in them and the balance point, so it's like perfect. I mean, these are really nice. Um, so hey, if you're looking for some nice sticks. Check out a set of these Zelgens that are rubber coated like this. These things are awesome. Um, anyways, I'll leave the link to these in the video description below. I got mine at Long and McQuaid in Canada, but you can, you know, look them up on Amazon, you know, .ca.com. Go to your local music store. So we put these things on in reverse. Um, so we went against the instructions for five Bs, and uh, I think this was probably one of the first set of sticks I bought myself. I can't remember. I've bought quite a few sets of sticks but anyways um, these are to aid you so that the sticks don't go flying and they say they're better for control although um, they're pretty good for doing this sort of thing with too you know but uh, anyhow uh, let, let's give them a spin on these sticks Ooh, I'm clumsy with these sticks one so um yeah these are really oh i think now i know why i don't use my five b sticks anymore they're really clumsy um anyways these do fit on other sticks so if you put them on backwards according to the instructions on five b's they will go on great um if you put them on the way they're supposed to go on they're not going on properly at all so all right, let's get rid of these sticks. And what do we got here? 5AX. So they're supposed to go on this flexi part of the silicone to the back. Now all sticks, of course, have a different balance point. At least this is what I've been learning. But uh, you get the idea. These are much nicer sticks. These are 5AX sticks. So, not too bad. Now, these are Mylar coated. I'm doing some stick comparisons here. We'll get to why. I know my timing sucks. I'm still a noob.
Okay. So that's those sticks. So let's go back to the control sticks. <laughs> clumsy because it's so thick in this area. I find it's a little clumsy that way. Now my favorite sticks so far have been these Zildjian's because they are rubber coated, they have a balance point area. So, oh, what do we say? What do we say, guys? Um, I say that these little crutch things are, well, they're not the best, okay? Um, it's nice to have a better grip on your stick. I mean, you can buy Zildjian sticks that are rubber coated. There was another stick I found, also had a rubber coating on them. I have uh, the gold Mylar sticks. Uh, these are, well, they're not, they're wood with a Mylar coating. And uh, they're actually pretty good. Uh, sometimes they can get a little slippery on you. But uh, by far, the Zildjian's are the best in my collection. And I have the best experience with them. Um, you know, so that's just my opinion. Uh, these things here, they're kind of a little awkward. But I guess for a kid, they would be fine. You know, it, it would actually help a kid um to have more control so i would gear these toward the new child drummers okay um that that would definitely get them into a little bit thicker stick maybe a full size stick if they have a fuller size kit like one of these because um, usually kids sticks are much thinner lighter and they have you know usually kids kits are really small and tiny cheap kits right but some parents, actually a lot of parents out there, will actually buy even a five-year-old or, you know, an eight-year-old, something like this, you know, like this nitro kit. Or an acoustic kit. And you got to have that reach, so you need some longer sticks. But, you know, with the longer sticks, um, some of them are light, some of them aren't. Uh, 7As are actually my, my thinnest, lightest stick in my collection. And uh, I actually, I, I liked them at first. Um, but nowadays I find these things like way light, you know, I mean, this is, to me, this is more of a kid stick, but if you want to play super light with no real power, then okay, you know, seven A's are fine. And we do that. And that's why I wanted to try these control things out to see if I could avoid that, right? But these are becoming too light for me. I'm way too used to these um, the Zildjian sticks. Um, but anyways, um, two out of five is where I sit at with these things. Um, these would probably, like I said, be great for kids that are beginning drums because, you know, they can hold on to them. You know, you just got to find the balance point on the stick. And they're going to be able to hold on to these things. And if you get really good, you can do stupid stunts. Um, better to learn it the right way though, I'm sure. Uh, but um, I find that this is making it very thick in this area. So you kind of, uh, you lose your feel is what you do. Um, so you don't want these to become a crutch. But um, if you're a beginner noob drummer, um, this may definitely help you. Um, but also if you're a beginner noob drummer and you're more of a teen or an adult, like myself as a beginner drummer, I'm an adult, 
um, these things are probably not a very practical choice. Um, you know, although they, they do help stop the sticks from flying across the room and into the ceilings, um, that is uh, not their intended purpose. Their intended purpose is to help you with better control. And uh, they may do that for you, but then you're going to get too used to that thick area all the time. So then when you go back to your, your stick without them, well, now you don't have that crutch. You don't have that, that same feeling. It's, it's different, right? So, you know, now you're back to probably flinging your sticks again. So that could be a bad point. Um, so ultimately, buy the sticks that you like in, in the weight that you like. Um, you may have to buy a few sticks to figure out which of your favorites are. Uh, but I got these, these are the Zildjian's, and uh, actually, face it the right way. Like I said, I'll have, I'll have the link to these. Uh, but these are, they keep the, th the thinness in here where you need to grip, right? And they're not going to slide out of your hands too easily. I mean, you, you'd be hard pressed to try and get these things to fly out of your hands. It's an even super rare occasion for me to have these things fly out of my hands. But uh, for just under 10 bucks Canadian, I think these things are actually uh, a little overpriced for what they are and what they can impede you on in the future of your drumming. Because um, I think they are going to cause problems in future just because of this thick area. The ring is kind of stupid. It's way too big in size. Um, and I find the odd time you can crash your, your, uh, your stick that hits your snare. Um, can collide into there a lot sooner than what it actually should or could. Um, and that can be a problem too to throw your bead off, etc. So I'm going to give these a 2 out of 5. But I would say yes for a little kid. They'd probably be pretty good um, at first. But don't let the kid get too attached to them. You know, eventually you actually have to learn how to use sticks. Um, that don't have that kind of a thing. So that's now this is also, you know, they're mylar coated, they're a little anti slip. These are my five B's, absolutely no coating, not even varathane on these. These are like just straight out wood. Now there is um, some goopy stuff you can get for drummers that they like to use to keep their sticks from sliding out of their hands. I didn't want to get into that kind of thing because I thought it was kind of, you know, to me it was kind of dumb, but you know, teach their own. I gotta set that cymbal back again. Anyway, enough of that. So, two out of five, that's where I'm at. Um, your choice if you want to buy into those. Uh, I thought I'd try them and uh, just to see for myself. And, uh, I mean, an experienced drummer is going to have a different opinion on them too. Uh, or maybe the same opinion. I have no idea. Um, but um, I think that's where I'm at with them. Um, I'm not going to use them again myself. I'm just going to throw them back in the box and, you know, maybe I'll give them away to some, some kid that's a new drummer or something. I have no idea yet, but um, I'll figure out something to do with them eventually when I decide. But, uh, you know, I think they put more thought into the packaging than they did into the design of these things because that's kind of nice. And it's a nice kind of thick rubber and, you know, protects them pretty good. Um, but definitely not worth the money in my opinion. Um, but it was definitely worth a try and the only way we find these things out sometimes is to try or we watch a YouTube of video of somebody like me who bought into these things thinking hey they might not be a bad idea you know because you never know that's the thing um, you just never know if they're a good thing or not until you give it a shot and uh, I gave it a shot and that's what they look like in the package um, but definitely uh, not for me I think I'm going to stick it out with my uh, cool Zelgen sticks. I, I think these are actually my best solution in life. And uh, it's not a crutch to me, you know, to have 
you know, this balance point area, you know, where you can go here or you can even hold your stick back further and it's going to, you know, it's going to stay as long as you keep your grip, right? But um, anyways, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope you appreciated my sucky drumming too because I'm still, you know, I'm working at it uh, as I can, as much as I can. Uh, but I am teaching myself too. And that's a little bit of a longer process as well. Anyways, catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks.